this weekend brings us to the halfway point of the Euro Formula Open season and we're here at Silverstone, the home of the British Grand Prix. Well, so far this year, Leonardo Pulcini has built a pretty big championship lead, but there are others who are looking to chase him down in the remaining races. Let's take a look at the best of the action. Leonardo Pulcini has been the man to beat so far. 2016 in the Euro Formula Open and so it continued. Race one at Silverstone, he led the field into Cops for the first time as behind May of Ivan Eithen. A nasty collision with Tanak Safi and Thirical. Fortunately, neither car picking up too much damage, but both of them out of the race. Meanwhile, Ferdinand Habsburg made one of the passing moves of the race around the outside. Damiano Fiorveranti in two stow. Gulhaisen Abdullayev in the wars somewhat as he got to grips with the Silverstone Grand Prix circuit on his first trip to the venue. Eventually spilling away his chances, dicing with Kazaniga late on. Second place in the top rookie went the way of Colton Herter. It was he and the Carlin team's first outright race podium for the 2016 campaign. Julio Reyno trying just a little bit too hard to gain ground late on, tanked Kanditi Kasiri. None of this was of any concern, of course, for Pulcini because he utterly dominated. He has scored a victory in every single event of the 2016 season. And this win put he and the Campos team further clear at the top of the standings. Colton Herter in second and Anthony Patak completing the podium. We did the pole also this morning in qualifying and uh, was pushing very hard until the end, uh, until the win, until the Chagrin Fed and uh, the car was perfect and uh, I have to thank you so much my team for the great job, uh, amazing job uh, that they did for me. On to race two and it was pole position for Colton Herter. Herter was jumped off the line by fast starting Anthony Patak also well away as Ferdinand Habsburg was looking to try and score some points with the championship leader Pulcini. While Lilko and Menchaka did battle lower down the order, the early stages were characterised by some frantic dicing and the Mahmed making great progress in his home round. This the talking point of the race over, contact between Herter and Pulcini resulting in retirement of the American and Pulcini the motor to the back of the field and having to pit in for repairs. Vladimir Atuev, Mayor Biden Eifen also enjoyed a good scrap. Julio Moreno once more was in the thick of the action, coming very close to tagging Yi Hong Lee. A slight mistake from Biden Eifen, costing him ground to Atatev in their race long scrap. In front of the field, Anthony Patak was chased throughout proceedings by Ferdinand Hansberg, but the Polish driver was able to maintain the gap and scored his first Euro Formula Open win to the light of the RP Motorsport team. Second place going away of Habsburg, Damiano Fiorvranti completing the podium. Utter jubilation however for Patak as he was on the top step of the Silverstone rostrum. Habsburg however claimed the rookie honours from Enam Ahmed and Yi Hong Lee. First, first win <laughs> in a Formula car. Yeah, how was it? You took the pole, started from the pole, but it wasn't that easy. Right? Uh, yeah, I uh, had to focus on the start. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, I, yeah, I passed the, the, the pole on before the first corner and then just had to make sure uh, to keep the pace and uh, finish the race. The halfway point of the season, it's Pulcini who has an almost 40 point lead over Ferdinand Habsburg. Looks like it's going to be between the pair of them for the destiny of the title in 2016. However, the fight for third is very close between Diego Menchaca and Damiano Fiorvranti. Anthony Patak hurtling into contention after his strong Silverstone weekend. Mm -hmm. 